Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to my channel. My name is Chris, and today I've used multiple different battery power tools here, and I'm sure you ran into this situation where you've ran them completely down. You don't always have an extra battery, or you gotta put it on the charger. You've used up the second battery, and you didn't know how long it takes for it to charge up. So let's see just how long it takes for each one of these batteries here. The Harbor Freight Bauer, the Cobalt battery from Lowe's, and the Ryobi battery to charge up. And if you'd like to know just how we drained all these batteries down, go ahead and click up on the top there. I'll have a link to the video where we did a comparison to the Harbor Freight, Cobalt, and Ryobi jet blower. Now looking specifically at the batteries here on this Harbor Freight one, it has 10 Samsung 18650 1500 milliamp cells, as well as all the other batteries have Samsung cells in them. And the Cobalt has the 2000 milliamp hour 20R batteries, while the Ryobi have the little less efficient 20Q batteries. Now, these larger batteries take a little longer to charge, so be mindful of that. Just remember that the Ryobi and the Cobalt, they do have express chargers, as well as that Ryobi line even has dual and quad chargers. And here we can see the Bauer 3 amp hour battery finished up at 2 hours and 5 minutes. Although they claim that is a rapid charger, I really would have liked to seen that finish in an hour to an hour and a half. And here we have the Ryobi battery finishing up at 2 hours and 23 minutes. Not too bad. I believe that express charger will finish in about an hour to an hour and a half, which is pretty good. And the Cobalt one here, that's taken a while. That finally finishes up at 2 hours and 44 minutes. So make sure you're always planning your time correctly, knowing if you need to buy two batteries or one battery. And as always, work smarter, not harder. And I'll catch you in the next video.